What's up, PlayStation Nation? Welcome back to PS Insight. I'm your host, Tay. And it's been a minute since I made these. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm safe from the get-go. I've kind of been uninspired to make these, but now I'm back. <laughs> uh, not only that, because i kind of been uninspired, but also PlayStation around this time. Gaming and media in general, just slow. But it's not really my excuse to make content for you guys. But I'm here to make a new PlayStation Insight for you guys. Kind of got encouraged to do it this morning and talk about some PlayStation news as of these few days or weeks, I guess. So let's get into it. So yes, as of yesterday at CSS, Sony finally announced their new controller, Project Leonardo. Project Leonardo is a controller for the disabled. So this is a very interesting controller and it's very alien to me, but that's not the point. It's for disabled gamers. And you know, before I go on with the controller itself, Microsoft or Xbox uh, have their controller from I think three years ago they announced their controller for disabled gamers. And I actually tried it at the uh, Microsoft store uh, about two or three years ago. Didn't know how to use it, but you know Sony finally developed theirs, and it looks even more <laughs> insane. But again, it's not for me. But what I appreciate the most is that Sony finally caught on to this train here for accessibility. So there's games out there for disabled people who wants to play games like all of us. So here's a chance to play those games for more, I guess. Uh, satisfy experience instead of using a normal controller but let's dive deep into the controller stuff so while i was reading the descriptions controller it's really customizable i'm not sure xbox the one that came out years ago is customizable i could be wrong you can fact check them on that but this one gives you like analog and button layouts you can just remove and put on different sizes or formats of the controller itself it's really nice for because you know everyone has different issues and like someone's giving them like various options to make the controller for themselves. There's also software customization as well, such as button mapping and controller profiles. That's really interesting here. I'm showing a picture or a video of the, the controller in my, it looks insane how it looks. Like it's, it, it's, <laughs> I wouldn't know how to use this, which is really fascinating because it's not for me, it's for someone else and they will know how to utilize it. And I'm, I'm appreciate Sony for giving them so many options here, like button mapping and like, uh, the button layout itself or like removing and changing the analog uh, sticks that's really great you know it's crazy because lately uh not just sony but a lot of games lately has been focused on accessibility i mean god of war got um accessibility awards of this year i believe i think and last was too i think started this trend as well where a lot of these games are focusing on accessibility for lots of gamers and that's focusing on people who doesn't have these issues so it's good to see some PlayStation Studios to focus on these issues here. As of right now, Project Leonardo is still in development. We don't really know its pricing or its release date, but Sony seems to be listening to the community for feedback. That's really nice of them on their part. Also announced at CES is that PSVR 2 is getting 30 plus games at launch window, which is really fantastic. Getting more people inclined to buy this thing. I know PSVR 1 was a fantastic device, but it, it, it wasn't enough for people to motivate to buy. It sold well, but it didn't catch the the oomph that I think Sony really wanted. I mean, they are making a two, so there's something there, but it seems like they're putting more dedication with uh, PSVR 2, especially with the games are coming. Like they announced here that Grand Cemento 7 is going to free a PSVR 2 update, which is really nice. And also, one of those games or Horizon called The Mountains seems to be like a full-fledged AAA game for VR, which VR seems to be lacking in terms of gaming space. Like, there hasn't been really that game you should buy for VR 2 other than like Half-Life, uh, the game that came out for Half-Life, I can't even know what the game's called. But that seems to want to act like a AAA game instead of a, like a glorified tech demo. So I said it before in past uh, PS Insight videos that like, you know, Sony is looking at PSVR 2 differently. They seem to put more effort into the games itself, which is really nice. Also, if you didn't know, PSVR 2 comes out in February of this year. So you better save up some money because it's pretty pricey. I think it's $500 for the base uh, PSVR 2 and for the Call of the Mountains bundle, $600. So there you go. And to wrap up CES news, Sony finally announced that PS5 sold 30 million units as of last month. That's their biggest month apparently for PS5, uh, December 2022. You know, prior to this number, PlayStation finally announced that, you know, PS5 should be ending the shortage very soon. It seems to be the case here. Like, it looks like they can go full force now the PS5 sales. So expect bigger numbers later on because it seems to not stopping anytime soon. And to conclude yesterday's news, Sony finally announced, well not Sony, another dog announced, uh, Last of Us 2 Factions uh, concept art. And notice I said Last of Us 2 Faction because it's not Last of Us 2, it's, it's just Last of Us Factions. It's part of the Last of Us universe, clearly from the name, but it's a separate thing. Now honestly, I think this is one of Sony's uh, games of service they announced a while back. They got like, what, 12 or 15 games of service coming? And I think this is one of them. 
and the game got concept art of the game. The developer also confirmed that the entire franchise has now sold more than 37 million copies globally as of December of last year, which is really nice. This is a clearly popular, beloved franchise from the PlayStation community. Not outside the PlayStation community. And they also getting a TV show coming out this month. And they also talked about that. But we got a lot of information regarding that show. But I'm talking about the games here, basically. But not the games, but also just the entire franchise in general. But we also got some information that, you know, Last of Us Part 1 is getting a PC port coming around uh, March 3rd. About, what, two, three months away. So it's basically Last of Us year this year. We got a TV show and hopefully Faction comes out later this year. Considering we just got concept art from last year and early di well now, I don't think we'll see the game anytime soon. I can see it releasing maybe like maybe like spring spring summer of what next year. It'd be nice if it announced it like a trailer for it soon and releases the anniversary of the Last of Us. Um, the original release of the original game came out around like July or June ish. Came around the end of the PS3 era, I can't remember specifically, but it'd be a nice anniversary uh, game for us to play. But I doubt Naughty Dog can take their time, so it could come out a year later from now. So I'm no hurry to, to play it. I, I trust Naughty Dog, um, but it's not something I'm super excited for. But people love The Last of Us multiplayer from the original game. Uh, it wasn't my, I didn't care for it, I was for the single player, but it's a beloved side of The Last of Us franchise and people are excited for it to play it, so. You know, guys, thank you for watching this video. There will be more PSS like videos in, in the future. I just got to find some ideas for I have some ideas planned, but I scrapped them. But uh, it's not they're not data in terms of what the content is. I still can do them considering the, the news environment regarding PlayStation. But yes, I will still make PlayStation videos in the future considering PlayStation news to come out anytime soon. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Listen to our podcast. And more importantly, take care. See you soon.